Well, adding plenty of interest to Friday night's meeting at Gloucester Park will be the return to racing of uh, very smart mare, Gotta Go Gabbana. She's in race two, and with me, uh, her regular rangeman, Chris Voke. And Chris, you've driven her uh, at three recent trials, so she must be pretty well forward in condition. She, yeah, she is. Um, obviously, she's um, targeting the Group 1 mare's race, Ken, so... Um She'll she'll tighten up with uh, with a few races, uh, but she's certainly had a couple of good solid trials, and um, I think you know with a couple of good runs under her belt, she's certainly on target. She's drawn barrier five uh, in a pretty even sort of field, uh, but she's up against some horses that are racing extremely well, like Max, Max Andius and uh, Soho Chelsea and Nime Soxy. Can she win first up? Well, it's not beyond her to win first up, but I'd say she's got a tough task. Uh, it is, I'd, I'd call it a nice, a very handy field with Max Sentius. I'm Soxy Soho Change, uh, Soho Chelsea, all in form. Um, she does like to race forward on the pace, but I think in this race she'll have to go back and um, and hopefully she's on her best behaviour and, and can follow them around and, and uh, yeah, make, make a good burst late. She was a bit uh, naughty in one of the trials when she uh, broke shortly after the start. Yeah, well, she's a very temperamental mare. Uh, you know, that's putting it politely. Uh, you just you got to you got to know how much to to take off her and uh, tried a little too much. But hobble shorteners came out at that that um, in that trial and stuff. So she was very good on the next trial. Um, and I think with race speed, they'll be going a lot faster than they do at trials. That'll suit. So um, yeah, fingers crossed. She does everything right, which I don't I don't think will be a problem. But um, yeah, whatever she does, she'll improve on. Chris, you've got eight drives in the 10 event card, so uh, you're going to have a busy night on Friday night. Looking at some of your other drives, I like Jackson Feller in race four. Uh, he's drawn the inside of the back line, but I, th I was quite taken with his uh, strong finishing effort when second last Friday night. Yeah, he went very good. Matt was confident with him before that run, Ken. Um, just got beat by a better horse on the night. The winner was too good, wasn't he? Um, but if he, he's going to get a nice trip again on the pegs like he did last start, and uh, if, I think if the gaps come at the right time, he'll certainly make the most of his opportunity. I think he's a really good each-way forever chance, isn't he? I think so. Well, he's a good winning chance. Just, um, you know, if there was a sprint lane here, I'd say he's a, he's a you know, very good winning chance. But uh, I guess lack of opportunity being held up is probably the only thing that will see him not salute uh, in the first three. In race six, you drive um, She's Artful for Bruce Stanley. She's Artful's drawn five in this race for uh, 21, 30 metres. Uh, not a particularly strong uh, field. No, it's an even. There's a couple of horses that are, you can make a case for. Um, Bruce thinks she, he's got a, you know, got a back, or on the on the on the comeback trial to, to her best form where she was this time last year. So um, she does have a tendency to get hold of the bit. So I think we'll probably have to drive her with a sit and settle her early. But, uh, yeah, Bruce, it'll, it'll be interesting to see how she goes in this race. Uh, I think if she, if she puts up a good run, she's probably a mare to follow in, in, in the next few weeks. She might get the right race. And the race after that, that's a race for mares uh, following uh, um, your drive behind She's Artful. You drive the Ross Oliveri trained Soho Changeling, a good winner two starts ago, but she's drawn out wide at barrier seven. Yeah, well, we were a good winner from behind the leader, and I'd, you know, I'd probably have to be a magician to get behind the leader from from barrier. What are we seven, seven? But um, yeah, there could be a bit of speed on early, a genuine pace with Millwood Brandy and pick my pocket. Um, so not used early, she will sprint home, will sprint home good late. And I think last run, I, uh, yeah, she, I, I, she was, I reckon she, um, she wasn't breathing too too well in that race. So I'd, I'd put a line through her last start, pretend it, pretend you didn't see it. And you drive the old-timer, uh, the Redeemer. He's drawn nicely at barrier two in a, in a very ordinary field in race nine. But uh, Redeemer, he's been out of the winning list for a little while. You, uh, I think you drove him to victory. Uh, might have been Pinjarra in about June or July this year. I reckon you better be careful who you call an old-timer, Ken. Oh, the Redeemer. Yeah, well, he's, um, he's been around for a while. You're living in a bit of a glass house there. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, look, he, he's going well. He went very good last start. Um, I think he'll be a lot fitter for that run, so uh, I think he's a, a very good top four chance. Oh, excellent. So very good top four chance. out of your eight drives, um, if you had to put your last on uh, any of them for a win or for a place, who would you plump for? Hmm. 
I, I, I think the Redeemer's a, a real good place chance. I really do. I think he you know, shouldn't be any worse than leaders back or something like that. So, and, and he goes very well when he's on pace. So I think he's a good place chance. But uh, I think probably the best horse on ability that I'm driving for Friday night would be um, got to go Gabbana, I'd say. But uh, very tough field from an awkward draw. I agree wholeheartedly, Chris, and uh, all the best of luck with your eight drives on Friday night. Thank you very much, Ken. Thank you.